What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Breezy. Shoot my shot, kiss tweets, and I look. Um, Kevin Bayard got traded yesterday to the Eagles. It's been about, I think, 29 hours since the trade. I know I usually, I mean, I might come at y'all same day, an hour or two later, or maybe even 30 minutes later after our trade has been announced, and tell you how I feel about the subject. Let me turn on this video. But, um, um, I had to think about this one, bro. At first, I didn't even want to make this video. And then I was like, should I make the video? I feel like I feel like I could, bro. Today's NBA opening night. Like, I wanted to be in a better mood, bro. But I just can't, bro. Because we really traded Kevin Bayard for a pack of Skittles. <laughs> for a pack of Skittles. Like, we couldn't even get a Roku TV, bro. We got a pack of Skittles and some hot wings. For Kevin Bayard, like, I feel like people don't understand how good Kevin Bayard is. And I'm an Eagles fan, too. If you watch my channel, you know I'm an Eagles fan and a Titans fan. But today, I'm talking about the Titans, bro. Um, I'm from Nashville, born and raised, bro. I've been a Titans fan since, since I was in third grade, bro. That's when I first started watching football. I was, like, eight years old, bro. I was watching. I remember we went 7-9 that season, bro. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I just want to say, like, I say that to say, bro, this got to be the saddest day. Is that Nick Mullins? But this got to be the saddest day in history of my... <coughs> in the history of me being a Titans fan, this got to be the saddest day. This might be the saddest day in Titans history, bro. I don't want to be over dramatic. This might be the saddest day in Titans history. But nah, we, we did lose the Super Bowl. I mean, Titans have been through some stuff, but this is bad, bro. This is bad. The highlights not even playing is so bad. Like, Kevin Byer, I feel like y'all don't understand how good he is as a player. I mean, second year in the league, he led the league in interceptions. First team all pro. But it's bigger than that, bro. It's just like the Titans never really get good players like that. I mean, we do. We get Chris Johnson and we get Derrick Henry and we get Kevin Bayard. But, you know, we're not we're not the 49ers, bro. We don't get – we're not the Ravens, bro. We don't get Ray Lewis and Ed Reed and Lamar Jackson every year, bro. We don't – you know, we don't get no Odell just coming chilling, right? Like, we – we don't get players like that, bro. We're not the Eagles. We don't go from D-Jax and Shady and Nick Foles to Alishon Jeffrey and Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. Like, Darius, the highlight's not even playing. This is going to make me so mad. Like, why is the Wi-Fi acting up today, bro? Just let me do the video. We don't get players like that, bro. I mean... The most talented team I've ever seen us have was that team with A.J. Brown, Henry... Kevin Bayard and Jeffrey Simmons, bro. We was the one seed. But, I mean, there's, like, he's a pillar in the community, too. Y'all don't understand. If you're not in Nashville, if you're not in Tennessee, you don't understand, bro. Kevin Bayard shows love to the community. He, he shows up to the schools. Like, he talks to the kids, bro. He's a good dude, bro. And we just traded him in the middle of the season for a fifth-round pick. Like, who does that? The face he been the face of the defense for the past seven years. We drafted him. He's homegrown. He went to college in Tennessee. He got drafted to the Tennessee Titans. I mean... I now hear stuff we're talking about trading Derrick Henry. If we trade Derrick Henry, bro, my time as a Titans fan might be expired. My contract might be expired, bro. If we today time if we trade Derrick Henry, no exaggeration, that's gonna be the saddest day of my life. I promise you not. If the Titans have one they have one inkling of uh, of a brain left in that body, bro. They got one brain cell left in their body, bro, left in that skull. This does not, 
That's crazy. This does not look like 2016 film. <laughs> but if they got one piece of brain left in that body, oh my gosh, why is this Wi Fi so bad? They got one piece of brain left in that body, but do not trade Derrick Henry, bro. For a fifth round pick, like I can see if you got a first or a second. But a fifth round pick, a fifth rounder, bro, that's basically a pack of Skittles. Um, yeah, Kevin Bayard should have, he should have died a Titan, bro. He should have retired a Titan. He should have went out a Titan, bro. I mean, Kevin Bayard, like, he's so underrated, too. I mean, he's the type of dude that needs to be in the Titan. If the Titans got a ring of honor, he needs to be in there, bro. He's the type of dude, like, this is the thing I don't understand. This is the one thing I don't understand. We're talking about trading Derrick Henry. We already traded A.J. Brown. Julio Jones is gone. I mean, I'm not even mad that Julio's gone. We talking about moving all these guys who've been pillars and big parts of our franchise and integral to our team's success and help us reach heights that I didn't even know we would ever reach. I swear I did not know we were ever going to be. I did not think we were ever going to be the one seed in my lifetime, bro. But we did that, bro, with Kevin Bayard, A.J. Brown, and Derrick Henry. <laughs> that showing me an ad. Oh, my Lord, bro. Lord D. Lord D. Um, really? Y'all just trying to make stuff worse, bro. Back to back ads is crazy. But I didn't know we would ever be the one seed in my lifetime, bro. We did that. And everybody from that team is gone except Henry and Tannehill. And they got Henry on the trade block. And they got Derrick Henry on the trade block. Meanwhile, we would probably, I'm not going to lie, we probably be, would have at least won the AFC. I feel like it's not crazy to say we would at least win the AFC. We might have won the Super Bowl, bro, if it wasn't for Ryan Tannehill. And he's still on the sidelines of every game, smiling, starting. His position is like, come on, bro. He's the worst player on the team. He sold us out of a Super Bowl, and he's on the sidelines smiling? I don't care if you can't trade his contract. Cut him, bro. He needs to be watching. He doesn't even deserve a ticket to the game, let, let alone an on-field pass. He should not be watching the games on the field, bro. He needs to be watching the games on the TV. I do not want to see Ryan Tannehill anywhere near the Titans. I don't even want to see him in Tennessee, bro. I don't even want to see him wearing a Tennessee Titans hat, bro. Ryan Tannehill ruined this team. I just don't. Like, why do we trade Bayard? What's the point? Obviously, y'all don't care about the value. I mean, y'all act like Bayard is just eating cap space, bro. A fifth round pick? A fifth rounder. One of the best safeties in the NFL. Probably like top three safety, if not top one. You can make an argument for sure that he's the best safety in the league. But definitely top three safeties in the NFL. And we don't even... Like, come on, what are we doing, bro? We can only get a fifth rounder for him? Really? Is that the price of Kevin Bayon? I mean, we traded A.J. Brown and got a first. At least that's, like, I was still, like, that's that's stupid. That's what I was, I was thinking. That's Well, that's dumb. But at least we got a first round pick. So at least you can say you got a chance of being able to get somebody talented. You're not going to get no talent in the fifth round. In the fifth round, you're going to find dudes who is on academic probation. You're going to find injury prone. Like, you're not, you know, something's wrong with them, bro. If they're getting drafted in the fifth round, they either suck at football, unathletic. They either suck at football, unathletic, or they got behavioral issues. They're going to beat their baby mama or something, bro. I don't got time for that, bro. I promise you. I don't, I do not have time for that. Or they went to school, they went to school with like 30 people in it, bro. Or they went to like community college, like, you're not going to find the next Kevin Bayard in community college, bro. I'm sorry. It's not happening, bro. As far as the Eagles, 
Y'all know I'm an Eagles fan and a Titans fan, so the Titans keep trading our best players to the Eagles has me conflicted, honestly. Um, I mean, I'm going to still be an Eagles fan. The Eagles just, they did what they were supposed to do. They made their team better. It's the Titans' fault they're going to keep trading. They're going to keep trading their players for packs of Skittles and Starburst. I mean, I can't blame the Eagles for taking a deal. I would do the deal, too. I mean, the Eagles, we needed a safety. I mean, we really did need a safety because, I mean, we just beat the Dolphins down. But we didn't need a safety. But we, used, we could use an upgrade at safety, and we got that upgrade at safety. Now, like, without a doubt, we got the best defense in the league. It was already looking dangerous with Hassan Reddick off the edge. Darius Slay and James Bradbury being the best cornerback tandem in the league right now, at least until Jalen Brown. I mean, Jalen Ramsey starts playing. He's They're the best cornerback tandem in the league. And then I don't know what's wrong with the Wi-Fi today. It better not do this during my NBA reaction. I'm going to rage. But, I mean, that defense is going to look scary. The whole team's going to look scary. I mean, to be honest, they look like a super team. The Eagles look like a super team. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it at all. They look like a super team on paper. Um, I hope they can make the Super Bowl again, hopefully win. Last year when they lost the Super Bowl, that was heartbreaking for me. Personally, I cried. I don't know if any of the Eagles fans cried. I for sure cried when they lost the Super Bowl. I did that reaction, but I guess the NFL took it down because it was a Super Bowl. I don't blame them. Even though other people's Super Bowl reactions didn't get taken down, but it's cool. I don't know. I'm not even swaying it like that. But, um, Eagles, y'all got to win the Super Bowl, bro. Like, I don't think y'all understand. At least get Kevin a Super Bowl, bro. At least let Kevin Bayard get a Super Bowl. Y'all got to let Kevin get a Super Bowl. Like, after all he's done, bro, he deserves it, bro. He's a good guy, man. I promise he's a good guy, bro. A good guy. A good player. I'm not going to lie, just seeing these players on the field just makes me nostalgic, bro. I forgot about Derrick Morgan, Jarrell Casey. I'll never forget about Jarrell Casey, but Derrick Morgan, Logan Ryan. Just seeing the guys, man. I miss the guys, man. Kevin Barr, probably he's been the longest tenure Titan. Him and Derrick Henry were tied. I'm pretty sure now Henry is the last one standing. Henry better retire a Titan. Henry better retire a Titan. And Derrick Henry, bro, if there's anything you need in Nashville, let me know, bro. I swear to God, Derrick Henry, if there's anything you need in Nashville short of my kidney, I got you, bro. Anything except one of my body parts, and I got you, bro. Derrick Henry, if you run out of gas, if your car battery is acting up, I'll give you a jump, bro. Derek, Derek, if you need to go somewhere, I'll give you a ride, bro. Derek, if you need some food, bro, you can come in my house on Thanksgiving Day, unannounced, bro. We'll make you a plate. If Derek Henry needs somebody to talk to, I'll pay for his therapy, bro. Anyway, um... Like, comment, subscribe, so you guys thought about this down below. I'm out. Peace.